Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be uh, analyzing different acids and bases. So yesterday what we did was we, uh, we used a little pH meter, right? Uh, and today we're going to be talking about an indicator. Okay, now an indicator is not as accurate as a pH meter. Okay, so we're going to do a little virtual lab today and your virtual lab will look like, hopefully you guys be able to see my screen here in a second. All right, so the virtual lab will look like this, and it'll be posted here in Google Classroom in the Classwork tab. What you're going to do is you're going to read the directions, all right? Read the procedure, all right? And then once you do all the ones, especially number five, click the reset button to test a new set of solutions. Continue hitting the rest reset button until all substances listed in the table have been tested. So the tests you're actually going to run is on this website. All right, so you're going to visit the Glencoe website. Okay. And it pulls up this. So number one says soft drinks. All right. So what you got to do is you got to tear off a piece of litmus paper or pH paper and you got to drop it in a test tube. So I'm going to drop it in test tube number one. I got a certain color. Okay. So I'm going to see, does what color does this match up with the most? I'd say probably three, All right? So soft drinks has a pH of three, and you can fill that in on the data table. You can do the second one. Ooh, it's a little different color. Let's see, I'd say this is probably a pH of one. All right, so battery acid is very acidic. Okay, so you will be doing this for the remainder of this table, and when you're done, just turn it in. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. If not, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you tomorrow.